chat with Commander. Nobody. Hey, uh, yeah, no. Oh, that's a relief. If it survived the crash. Basic robot behavior subroutes. Uh, let me see. What's my intelligence is at seven. It would be nice to get that to eight. Apparently, the highest perk uh, that I've seen for like the conversations with the NPC so far is uh, there's supposedly one that um, is 12 or something like that. I, I'm sure I have one that gives me like a Are plus. Are you able to pass the uh, skill check? Uh, the intelligence one? Yeah. Nah, I'm not. I'm trying to see if I have a thing that gives me plus one. I just need one. Uh, if you need a drug, I can I can give you a drug, I'm sure. Uh, I might have one. I'm checking real quick. I've got uh, some Daddy-O, which will do the, the trick. Uh... I think Daddy-O might be all... Oh no, I've got... What's, what's that other one? Mentats. I've got Mentats. Mentats? Yeah, I don't have it, either of them. I mean... Uh, come outside. Yeah. I'm outside and I'll give you some. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> to Appalachia. That's awesome. <laughs> this guy is... Dude, this is quality people. See, now if I was like this, like if I was his level, I would try to do the same, but I'm just lucky that I bumped it like that. I literally just, all I saw was his plans with four, like 250 plans that he had that I don't have. And I was like, oh boy. And look at that. That's so cool. It's uh, right there on the ground in the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, there. Thank you. Yep. All right, I'll get run it real quick. I'll uh, I'll head down there. It's not far. When you uh, when you're done, just fast travel straight to me. Okay, sounds good. Are you able to still hear me while I was in loading screen? Uh, yep. Oh, okay. That's cool. Apparently. Is the game uh, loading like decently fast for you? Uh, it all, I mean, I have a good I'm SSD, so okay. it always Space does reasonably well. Uh, I don't know if it's my... any better or worse since this, you know, latest oh, update. If it's yeah. The crash. I actually, I have it for myself, I have it on an external hard drive, and it's, it loads pretty fast. My buddy yesterday had, an, like, just a regular internal one, and it was loading really slow for him. Oh, my friend, I don't, I don't know, I mean, that, I believe you, I 100% believe you. But uh, an external hard drive, a, a mechanical external hard drive, generally generally runs at 5,400 RPM. I'm guessing uh, because it, it's just guys. cheaper for the companies to give you more data space and you know a slower drive. The crash. Uh, you, you, your load time should be abysmal. Oh, I mean, right. uh, uh, I don't know. I would definitely. You don't even. I mean, an SSD is the best way to go. An internal SSD yeah. 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 It is obviously the best way to go. But even an internal mechanical hard drive, those typically start at 7,200 RPM which means your seek times would be faster and your load time should be faster so uh, I would I would suggest even a mechanical internal would, would be an improvement yeah I could I mean like I could switch it to a, a different one but I mean this is the one that I had and I, I'm, I'm surprised at, at how fast it seems to be loading yeah no I mean you might you might have anything's possible they might have dumped you know 7200 rpm uh drives into there just because they had them you know for whatever reason yeah they, they had them and then turned them into externals who knows but, but generally as a rule of thumb you're generally looking at 5400 rpm which is a darn sight slower hey <laughs> he's he's good at that He was like, oh boy, you're running a game. Looking Unexcern. for a robot, right? Uh, yeah. Chinky. The encryption, but I, I think the robot's bugged. I think he's, 
stuck inside this mountain. I could be wrong, but for me, I, it's showing to the right here. I'll, I'll come to you then because my marker shows him pinned inside a mountain. Okay. Um. I, and I could actually hear it too. I could hear the, the idling of the robot. Yeah, he is right here for me. Oh my god. Warning. Do not Andorra. interfere. Use emergency code phrase. Access code received. So Accepted. That's, de that's definitely yours and not mine. Terminating. Um, mine is definitely over there in a in a room. Okay. Huh. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I mean, it is what it is. I, I would expect nothing warning. less from Bethesda. This unit uh, will now so, continue. Um, I'll, I'll eventually just like reload and hopefully it'll it'll suck it out and I can get him. But well, mine is definitely up here. In the up wall. here somewhere. But he's. It you. sounds like it's in the wall. You you'll, you can hear him. I mean, it shows him right on the other side of this wall here, and you can hear it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's Bethesda for you. No, I mean, seriously, stay classy. Don't never change Bethesda. Uh, Zenimax. <laughs> you know, I, I actually spent half an hour, before I quit this game, I spent half an hour talking on the phone to their head customer service guy. Like, this guy's name gets rolled in all the credits for Bethesda Zenimax games. Really? Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a big fucking, you know, big to do, to do. You could hear how fat this son of a bitch was. He had me on speakerphone. He, he, he got all defensive when I started shitting all over his game. He was raising his voice to me. I was like, you're, you're the head of customer service. And look, and I showed him all the logs that I had from interactions with his customer service people. I'm like, they're, they're completely useless and incompetent. You're saying they should do one thing. I can show you over and over. They, they refuse to do things that you said they should do. And then the whole, my, my real issue was the whole Pete Hines. Oh, we're never going to monetize the cash shop without anything but cosmetics. And, you know, all of a sudden... Our shit game that we can't get our shit together on. We're trying to monetize even more by pushing garbage like Fallout first. Yeah, Fallout and, first and, is a joke. And, and collectrons that, and some scrap bots and fridges for your camp. Things that actually have function that aren't cosmetic. You know, and, and I tried bringing that up. I mean, he got he started raising his voice. I was like, dude, you need to check your role. You need to understand that I'm the customer here, and you know, yeah. you're, it's not your job to fucking get aggressive. You're supposed to kind of placate me and make me not want to complain about your business. That's crazy. It was awful. And at that moment, I realized, after getting off the phone with him, I realized, so what happened is they released the game way too early. Didn't They lost the player base that they, they were going to have a huge one. They lost the, the player base, realized they weren't going to make nearly enough in the cash shop to produce the model that they had originally, originally promised. And after talking to him, I knew, I knew for a fact that they were just going to continue to roll out more. Yeah. This was this was right at when they released refrigerators. And immediately after, like within weeks of getting off the phone with him, Fallout first came out. And I said, you sons of bitches, I fucking saw this this shit show coming. Yeah. But, I'm sorry. I ran no, I should not no, no, dude. You, um, there's total reason to it though. I'll I'll deal with this I hear I'll that. finish this quest later. Maybe when I reload the game he'll not be in a rock wall. <laughs> um Alright, I'm gonna try to finish it real quick. Yep, I'd say fast travel back over there and, and knock God. it out. I'm gonna head back to uh, my camp and putz around for a minute. I'm if one cap short. It, like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, oh, you can't I can't fast caps. travel over there. It costs five and I, I have can, four. I can give you caps. Just trade with me. Sell me something. Uh, sell me a board really? for five caps or whatever. Uh, here, take some. I'll give you some spices. Yeah, anything that you just don't want, anything that's garbage, just give me some. <laughs> Trying to set it to five caps. I yeah. So, yeah, whatever you need. Ah, thank you. If there is any more to it, let me know. But I get the feeling that we're probably wrapping this up. Yeah, it's. I think it's just gonna be grabbing her and then setting up her shop at the camp. Yeah, that was my guess. So you can only have one at a time, right? Yeah. So from my understanding is, I think you can craft their thing at any time, but you can only have one uh, ally workshop or thing at a time. Yeah, that makes sense. I start out with the sketchiest dude of all, of course. Yeah. 
apparently there's so right now these are the two that we know of but then there's one raider guy that you can get and then i think there's five other random encounters supposedly i don't know if he heard any of that oh wow Hmm. There was a raider, a level oh. 66 raider thief outside my camp when I came back. I've never All seen right. that. I'm not sure, but... Must was it, were you able to talk to him, or...? I, I honestly, he was red, so I was behind him, I just lit him up. <laughs> okay. I probably should have tried to talk to him, though. I wonder if, um... Did, wait, did you just hear what I, I said about the five random encounters? Yes. Okay. Because I Maybe was wondering... I I know you need to be at least level 50, apparently, um, to get the raider ally, uh, the raider well, ally. See, that was my hope, you know. With my, with my fondness for Bethesda Zenimax, I, uh, I actually, I, I typically chance. take the hero route. Yeah, I same. Be, I kind of want to be a raider in this game. I kind of want to just fuck shit up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and now with the the Wastelander technically storyline, I mean, to do the full Raiders thing, if you want to do both, you got it. You would have to make another character, I guess. Yeah. No, you definitely do. I mean, luckily there's only the two real factions. It's just yeah, one or the other. Yeah, that was pretty much it. So I. I I uh, walked back in and she was doing fine. So now I'm gonna go to my camp and see if I can make it. Well, uh, you know, if, if it's not there when I reload later, I'll uh, I'll submit a support ticket and inevitably <laughs> they'll tell me that I should uninstall and reinstall and my reinstall. game and that will and that will fix the problem. Yeah. <laughs> they won't actually say it'll fix the problem, but they'll they'll insist that I do it before going anywhere farther. Some of my fucking support tickets with Bethesda Zenimax are legendary. Like, they just, they try to shut me down, and I'm just like, no, no, go fuck yourself. I know you're wrong. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let's see if it costs anything to make her. What is it, ally? Allies, here it is. You can only have one at a time. Hers is a straight up console. Huh. Does it require anything? I don't I'm just curious. So I guess I would have to store it. Scrap it. And then if I go to build, and then I can throw this down right here. And it, it should spawn her. Where's she at? Death map of the crash landing. Ah, there she is. Thank you, thank you. Yep. So it looks like she just has like a little console thing that you make. And it spawns her. Yeah, considering my uh, my outfit, this was the last thing that I put together before stopping playing the game. Uh, I, I definitely need to get her and go with her. Yeah, <laughs> it fits perfectly. If she went straight to making something. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us... Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more. And much more quickly. I sent you uh, a friend request. I'm probably going to take off here momentarily, knock out a couple things, Swear. but uh, I'm going to be back meantime, on tonight, and uh, I play with a bunch of people. You know that it's okay. Yeah, we have Discord and whatnot. If you wanted to join us, you'd be more than welcome. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, I'll take it down real quick. The end of the world, but do you know the, the Discord list, link, or, is, or do you want me to just add you on Discord? Living in squalor... And if uh, if you want any mutations too, I Listen, sell all the mutations at my shop, and I'll give you whatever you like. Uh, if you 
It's, it's up again, to you. You, uh, you, I'll, I'll, you, you really, I'll, you know what I'll do is I'll give you marsupial because marsupial is just fun, and um, it doesn't really matter if you end up, you, know, you will eventually wipe it off of yourself until you get the perks. But yeah. once you get your perks, once you get to that point, because it's basically, you know, everybody does the mutations at some point or another. Uh, once you get there and have the right perks, I'll set you up with the whole set. Okay. Sounds good to me, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll fast travel back to you. Um, what's your, uh, Discord? Let me look. Alright, is it any chance your Discord is similar to your name? Because mine's totally different than my name. Yeah, mine's, well, my Discord name, it's the same thing. And then, or, no, no, actually, it's different. Yeah, whoops. Because this is my old username. All right, uh, what's your what's your Discord name and the numbers after it? I'll send you a friend request. So it's Cassis Clay. So it's C-A-S-A-S, -A -S, and then Clay, C-L-A-Y. And then the hashtag 5289. Uh, any uh, capitalization? Uh, capital C and, and Cassis and in Clay. Okay. God, my, my game got messed up from the uh, tabbing out for it. Yeah, yeah, it usually does. That's an, another, that's the one issue that I run into. It used to be uh, eating and drinking would cause my game to crash. And uh, again, when I informed Bethesda, they said I should uninstall and reinstall. Yeah. And uh, even though I, I know a number of people that would cons constantly crash you know, multiple times a day from eating and drinking or, or using cams. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to send you a request. Okay. I'll, I'll restart the game in just a second here, too, by the way, guys. Um, I'm just waiting for this request real quick, and then I think he's dropping mutagens or whatever. Six any better uh, than what it was on release? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, my resolution is messed up right now, so it's one of the bugs for tabbing out the game. But and I'm gonna fix it in just a second here. But um, right. overall, story and everything, uh, it's pretty cool. It's uh, interesting at least. Um, and I like some of the stuff that they added in, all that. All right, sweet. Yep, I got it and accepted it. And that's uh, an invite to the server we use. Okay, cool. Oh god. Oh my god, my resolution's so fucked. Oh my god. All right, so I'm gonna uh, go get some lunch and uh, run a quick errand, but I'll be back in a bit. And uh, if uh, you're still around, I'll shoot your message. Okay, sounds good, man. Right, and hopefully, uh, when I come back on too, I can retrieve my lady. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for the help and yeah. stuff. Yeah, no worries. I'll uh, be in there. So, whatever's going oh, yeah, on, no, I'll know. be back. I, I definitely want to get some of this new shit done today. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good, All man. Right, Peace. All right, yeah, so let me restart my game now, since now this is all. Uh, yeah, quit the desktop. It's, there we go, these. And now we can restart it.
great. I tapped out too early. <laughs> I need to remember not to tap out of this game, man. Other than that, it's pretty similar to Fallout 4, I assume. Yeah, it pre it, I'm pretty sure they use the same assets as Fallout 4. Um, so it's literally... I mean, like, one of the top reviews on Steam right now for the game um, is pretty much that it's a big mod for Fallout 4 uh, with some multiplayer mechanics, which is essentially what it is. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend it at the $40 price point that it is, but if somebody can get a good deal on it or uh, if you have it and haven't played it for a while, then I do recommend for the people that do have it to give it a second try because the updates themselves are um, it's pretty cool. I don't know how much time I'm going to end up investing in this game, but I, I mean, yesterday I had a good amount of fun with friends. Um, today I'm probably going to be mostly solo unless if I bump into another guy like that guy. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's cool. You know, it's, it's, this is how the game should have launched. 100% if it launched like this then it would have done a lot better but because it didn't it lost down a lot but the the NPCs it adds a, a decently fun story and um, it's cool yeah the whole no NPC kind of ruins it for me yeah especially like I played the game when it launched I found that I, I was able to get a key for pretty cheap so um, that was nice, but I, uh, am, I, am I in a team right now? Oh, we have to leave a team. That's why I was trying to, it was saying waiting. Um, so when I originally played it, I was playing with friends. The game is fun. Like at the base, even with no NPCs, if you're playing with friends, it's fun. Like, especially if you guys are messing around doing quests together. That's all good and, and dandy and fine. When you're playing solo, that's when it got like really boring. Like it's not like most people are used to playing Fallout games solo, like just playing the storyline. And I totally get that. But now there's a reason to play the game solo and also play it with friends. It's actually the storyline is almost more focused towards solo playthroughs because um, if you and a friend are doing it, only one of you can be like the leader or the host of the session um or you can play together like going through the missions together and then you can enter your own solo section um so like you get to a door and it'll be like enter as team leader or enter solo and that's how you can progress the story together um the only downside and the thing that I think is the dumbest out of all is the fact of the fallout first that's right now there's no way of having a private server just yourself you can't play the game solo either whoa that was weird the only way you can is if you subscribe to their fallout first which is $15 a month and you get some perks and stuff but it's the dumbest thing ever it's not worth it like at all but it's there so that is that right there is like the like the one thing that's like bro like are you serious like you gotta be kidding right but they're not that's that's what they're not kidding but like i said if you can get the game if you have it it's worth jumping back into if you can get the game like on CD keys or something like that somewhere for cheap um, for like 15 personally I would set the value of the game in my opinion to like 15 20 dollars no more at all no more than 20 dollars I could justify paying for this game um, but yeah I mean I, I've still had a lot of fun playing it with friends and stuff but like yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine paying $15 a month for this game. That's that's just insane. 
especially when there's already now if this is here's here's how you flip that though if this was free to play and this was base this base game itself was free to play and everybody could play it everyone had access to it everyone can jump into the wastelanders update it was similar to elder scrolls online and you can only join like a public game that i understand because there's a price point to get into the game first and then there's an additional price point to have your own private server that's crazy in my opinion if it was flip-flop though where it was you can play the game anyone can play it for free the base aspect but if you want to play privately your own story all of that then it's fifteen dollars and then you get this additional stuff that i understand at a price point and then add that on top doesn't make any sense but that's just my quick quick little opinion on that aspect of it yeah it's bonkers and mongy hungry yeah the i mean i think if they got rid of the fallout first they put this everything that's included with that out into the base aspect of the game it would do a lot better but I think asking for that or saying like hey you want to have your own private server pay us $15 a, a month and we'll let you have one that's wild I expect to do that in like a like a Call of Duty game or like not even Call of Duty like Battlefield Battlefield I understand where a server that's up 24 7 anybody can join at any time or like a, a huge clan they want their own server but if you're saying somebody wants to play single player they don't even have the option to play by themselves unless if you have to pay $15 a month that's crazy to me or it's still technically it still requires a single player game but that's the negatives overall the update itself jumping back into the game I think is fun and I think it's worth it so that's why I'm here I probably wouldn't have bought the game today if um, I didn't already have the key but since I had I bought it back when it released for I got a cheap key then it it kind of works out which is why I'm giving another shot I if they're making any money from this maybe I mean the update seems to be overall like the update is still positive but people are still like really pissed about everything else um surprisingly the subreddit has been pretty positive about the update and stuff too though so i mean i i totally understand both sides of it i understand why people don't want to jump back into it and don't want to give it even the light of day to try to see if they rethink it because there are still things like fallout first that exists but i can also understand the the other aspect of wanting to give it a try now like me i already spent the money they already got somebody already got my money from buying the key so if it's there there's an update it's worth trying in my opinion i mean i probably i don't know if i'm gonna even go tomorrow playing this again i might jump to the xcom 2 by tomorrow because i, I want to try to get ready for the game that they're uh, coming out with so yeah <laughs> that's pretty much my opinion on that um, that dude that I met is it was really cool though and the uh, the other people I've ran into so far I met another dude yesterday didn't even exchange a single word to each other but we were able to to chat a little bit which is pretty cool uh, or not chat but we were able to run a mission together my bad um one thing though is i'm completely broke now i only have 25 caps <laughs> uh i don't even know what to do now i i there's some places i won't be able to fast travel to so i probably should do the uh the mission the next mission I have at least Oof. all 
Uh, oh yeah, I did get, I think I got at least one new notepad or something. Also, I'm going to switch back to Beckett because Becca was pretty cool as a character. I feel like he's more fitting for my, um, what I'll be doing too. <laughs> so that's what happens. Say so if you destroy their stuff, they disappear <laughs> and all their clothes, clothes do too. Interesting. Shoot, I'm trying to find a place where I can place this. I guess. I guess right here is good. I really like my area because if if somebody comes traveling across this road, they'll see mine and they can uh, either buy something right here or jump in here or they can go inside and use any of the uh, benches I have. I actually did lock my doors, but I'm, I'm not going to close them pretty much because I, I want people to be able to come in here and, and use these if they need to. Um, but yeah, well, let me see. So I'm going to do TNA, the new arrivals. And before we do that, let's see if we can find out Beckett's mission. Well, see his diary. Well, to impress. Always. Sure thing, Ma. Well, you see, I mean, there's. Thanks. And also. Okay. Uh. I could have asked that guy for more um, caps, but I, I don't want to just mooch off of him when he already gave me a stim pack. Uh, recipe too <clears throat> but I am broke <laughs> I have 25 caps <laughs> literally I can complete this see the cool thing is that you can get these like you can get atoms for free so right now I have 190 which I can use them on the, the th whatever it's called um but I like these too. Reach overseer rank one, really. Oh, reach level forty. So that's how you get. Ah, we only be completed in nuclear winter mode. You get vault fifty one jumpsuit. Wow! Holy crap, dude! Deploy ten. Deploy camps. Built defensive structures. Win matches while wearing. Oh, wait, these are all nuclear winter mode. Survival combat. Is this all nuclear winter mode? Some of them you get like 80, which is cool. Let me know if I'm in your way. Launch a new. Yeah, this is all nuclear winter mode. Surprisingly, you get a lot of stuff from there. So much. So quick. But my fear is how uh, how it runs. Okay, um, let's let's do a mission because I haven't done anything yet. Miscellaneous. Let me disable that one. Investigate this suspicious person, and we'll go do here to stay. Talk to the uh, the leader. Where are they at? Talk to the settler leader down here. 15 caps. All right, that's going to be all the caps I have left. <laughs> We've got 10 caps left there. Woo. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, I might play the game until I hit level like 50 by uh, I don't know 
I don't know if I'll even finish this story, honestly. Depends on how intriguing it is, and um, I, I personally I prefer this game playing with one other friend, but I know it's going to be a little bit hard to do right now. Ah, oh, shoot. Dude! Straight running at me. Oh my gosh. Chill. Level 32. There's some caps. Uh, yeah, I need to get some stim packs too. Oh god, jump back, jump back. Get out of here. Oh no. Alright, well at least I can respawn right there and I killed them all. So that works. Hey, call. Look at all this stuff I would have lost if I didn't do that. Alright, let me get to the settlers before I get destroyed by something else. Let's accept it. Let's just see. I accepted it. Guys, actually wearing a good amount of armor. Why am I running faster with this thing? That mutations that guy had back there was actually pretty cool. Whoa, dude. Don't just throw grenades at people like that. He doesn't look like a raider. thinking about swapping to the uh, the marksman pistol that I got yesterday is that an enemy or are those just mannequins standing in the street totally not terrifying at all is that a kid oh it's some Okay. It's not every day you walk through the street and see some mannequins just standing there. Yo, we are currently 19 away from 800 followers. It's actually pretty, pretty impressive, especially when we just hit 800 within or 700 within the last month and a half I appreciate you guys coming through here by the way especially when nothing else is going on right now for me so I appreciate everyone that's been coming through chatting all that usual stuff no matter what the game you still come through and I I really do appreciate that for everybody New or old? Thank you. Alright, so the foundation. <laughs> Thanks, Harris. Okay, let's see. Uh, where, oh, you have to go inside. Civilization is being rebuilt. Right here in Samuel, Even. level 66, my dude. Hey, fellow dweller. How's it going? Tis going well. What's your job here? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Whatever needs doing. The ward says he's still trying to figure out what I'm best at. I came from a vault just like you. 
Ah, you've never heard of it. It's really far away and hidden. Like, really hidden. I don't even know how to get to it. Like, at all. Can you tell Lord's me about the others? Well, uh, he'll say he ain't, but he is. Of course, he reports to Paige for the big stuff. But when he points, they all jump. I reckon it's because he all... As for the rest of them... Let me know if you see any... All right. Let's get inside here. I was at two o'clock already, and it's almost already been two hours. That's crazy. I feel like I just got on. Okay. Oh, whoops. Like, why am I going forward? Sometimes I look around. Well, uh, this is a little off. Page. You're from one of the local vaults, right? Mm hmm. Hope you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because. <laughs> well, and if you want to kick us out, then the answer is no. Important thing right now is if you're getting inoculated against these inoculated. Scorch Plague. This some kind of a scare to. It's real, it burns people up, makes them crazy. That might just explain a few. Thanks for the warning, but you know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor, Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation. You talk to him about the right, I'll check with Aubrey. Assuming he agrees with you about this this Okay. Uh, so where is he at? I'm assuming it's gonna make me leave here, but uh, actually, let me chat with him. See if he has any other. Kind of busy here. Make it quick. Well, I uh, sometimes that's where I come. Plumbing. You can always. There's not too much. That's not to say. All right. He didn't you know discover what? anything new. I just want to see if he would give me new information or something. Uh, okay. So we'll get back to Appalachia. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still surprised that the thing take that. I mean, like, right now, obviously, but that's only because we're loading back into the giant world. Especially seeing Soldier Pat's loading times yesterday. They were pretty bad. <laughs> he was, his was actually surprisingly taking a, a, a long time. Oh wait, do they have any? <laughs> They're all playing something. Can I play something? I want the bonus. Yes, thank you. I just wanted to play the instrument. No, Samuel, get back up. No. Oh. Let me play. Let me play it. Let me play it. Hi there. He's mine. He's a good kid. Oh, that's his parents. I want the bonus. Oh, maybe this is... Where is this dude at? I... Uh... Wait, talk to Word? Uh... Word, there you are. Last functioning osmosis kids. 
you can get it back. Excellent. I can show you roughly where it is, but I'll have to wait until you're closer to get this out. Okay, find Aubrey at the observation point. And we're actually pretty close to the diary there, too. Alright, so Aubrey is down there to the left. What's that, dude? <laughs> oh, snap. Nice. Uh, I'm thinking about getting my luck up next then. Since if that's the mutagens and all that are, are so worth it. Uh, then yeah. The, the build that I saw yesterday, he had like 15 luck and like... 15 strength and everything else is five 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 like across the board Oh god All right somehow didn't get damage from that so I'll take that Luckily my uh, AP it seems to be regenerating a lot faster than yesterday um, I switched out when I I got on last night. I switched out one card, and it helps me recover. I think I'm pretty sure it helps me recover AP like 60% faster, something like that. Um, so that was pretty useful. Uh, I think I'm gonna get closer to the road here. Also, it looks like there might be a a train station. Checkpoint. I have a ton of perks on right now too that are it'd be more useful if I was in a team because I get like bonuses and stuff. Um, I might want to swap something out actually. Uh, yeah, see, like, all these right here, they're all team stuff. Train station right here, though. I'm gonna try instead of just like taking everything I see I'm gonna try to only take the stuff that I have uh, tagged that I actually need nothing there there take that though mm. it's fine start up here before your next kill. Weapons workbench. Yo, what's going on, B. Gilbert? Hope all is well with you. Yep, it's going well. How are you? Uh, we got. S I guess we picked up some weapons recently. I'm gonna scrap like two of these. Doing okay? Same here, same here. Uh, see, automatic assault rifle. Yeah, the automatic one's better. I'm actually gonna favorite that one instead. And. So we're using this right now, but we could be using this. I feel like I should sell one of these instead. Okay. 
Yeah, it's one that actually sells pretty good. It's favorite this. And automatic assault rifle. There we go. Dangerous to go Trade alone. with the bot here. It's dangerous to go in groups. And then, it's sorry, <sighs> Fossabot, man. There's no there. regulating so Fossabot here. here. This is value. They're only going to give me 10. Seriously? Bro, this thing just said it. it the value is 62. He's only going to give me 10. Bruh. All right, we'll keep going. Is there? Yeah, there is a road. I go to the left here. I can actually follow the road there. I don't know if I have, I have an, an ability that says if I have a pistol equipped, I can run like 10% faster. It sounds like a spawn shot, a pawn shop to me. Favorable to them only. Yeah, right. Let me, uh, hopefully I have some water here. Or something that quenches his thirst. Let's drop the moldy food. Take the potato chips. Pumpkin pie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. I don't have like anything that quenches my thirst. No! That's not good. All right, well, if we find regular water, we're gonna have to take that and see if I, uh, I guess we can just use the rat away if we do. There should be water nearby too, though. I don't know what that that is. I'm gonna do it at this game, meaning I don't know anything about it. Uh, but what would would that cola help? Yeah, if I well, wait, did I have cola in my inventory? Got him. I uh, saw Cola, but I may have not been there. It's just a name holder. Oh, Cola Perk. Oh, Cola Perk Bubblegum. Yeah, since it's bubblegum, it wouldn't help. But if it was like regular, like Nuka Cola or something, then then it would. But yeah, that would um, since my guy is hungry right now. Or if he was hungry, it would help that. But unfortunately, in this instance, he's uh, thirsty. Over hungry. And it looks like, is that a vault? Uh, I think I actually have to go up here. Thing that sucks with this is uh because he's thirsty it's dropping my uh advance points down uh or my ap Die, vermin. Ooh, true. If I had beer on my guy, too, 
Search the body for clues. Use search pockets, but don't find anything significant. Oh. Quick inspection of the body shows large. Oh, wait. I need luck. It's like luck eight. I only have luck two. Damn in the scene. Scrambled footprints suggest the settlers were surprised and didn't have time to put up defense positions. Darn. Well, darn. Although the wounds were fatal, this person was receiving medical attention. Perhaps not everyone was killed. You count the beds and realize there are five, only four human bodies. Wow, math. Purified water. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and dirty water. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink one of those. Purified water, <laughs> much better. Actually, I think I might take the dirty water too, because if I do, if I can get a well-fed, yeah, nice. So now I have a, a little bit of a stat bonus. Perception eight. Nothing special about the body, but he knows the trail footprints heading northeast. Perhaps Aubrey is still alive. Okay, and we can scrap some. Oh God, what? Who's shooting? Right, 95% and I miss. Was this XCOM? Whoa there. Whoa. Sorry, that was pretty close to the mic too. Reload, reload. All right, you know what? You know what? Fine. Take that and that. Where are you at? There's one more around here somewhere. Back here. There you are. Got him. Got it. Break down a bunch of those. Weapons, combat knife. Hold up. What's mine? Nah, I think it's not any better than mine. Pump shotgun. Yeah, it's still not better. Snub nose, no. Spear, no. Okay. Nice. Crafting item unlocked. Oh, we got some a good amount of uh, attachments there. Shot class. Do I have any heals? Oh, shoot. I don't even have any... Uh, Stims. Oh boy. Get within tracking range. Well, that's a that's a, a daily for him or for the uh, immunity, which I might actually do after once we go back to the foundation. Then I'll do it. Whew. Chili. And I kind of need to go to the bathroom. So if, the, if we're going inside here, then I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. And we 